pay right now and the class just started, but guess what? You have to maintain that. Effort. So just because we got the hundred percent truth, guess what? We have to maintain that hundred percent. All right. Because if we go off, guess what? That eight, that, that hundred percent can drop down to ninety nine. All right, you might get cussed out, rebuked for that, and then you know you might get corrected on it. Then it goes back to 100. percent But if you're gonna be hard at it and stuck in it, hey, your 99 percent might get you killed. All right, the Lord said, hey man, you, you don't have you don't have enough. I need 100. percent All right. Hey, kind of. I got uh, Ephesians 5:15. See then that ye walk circumspectly. Yeah, see you walk circumspectly, man. Just put it, you know what I'm saying? You don't need to study. See, say you don't need to study and to, um, uh, uh, and to look up things because you already got them, man. Hey, that's not walking circumspect, all right? That's bad, man. That's actually being proud. Go ahead. Not as fools. Not as fools. But as wise. But as wise, man. How do you stay wise? By constantly staying in the scriptures, okay? Redeeming the time by constantly preaching that this place is gonna go down. All right, having that seared in your head that no, sh no shadow of a doubt that this place has uh, has has 50 more years, 60 more years, man. No, this place is going down, expediently, man. I know for I know for sure that this place is going down. No no doubt in my mind. All right, demons might fuck with me saying, you know, uh, 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 Obama's gonna leave. You know, I thought y'all said Obama's gonna be the last person. Is America still four years ago? Hey man, them demons are like, fuck with you, man. But hey, you gotta overcome them, man. Say, hey man, it's gonna happen when it's happening. I'm not the Lord. My thoughts are not his thoughts. All right, go ahead. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Days are evil, boy. Right? While we in this place more and more, guess what? It's gonna get evil. All right? People are gonna wax worse and worse, and this day is gonna get more evil. Man, I, man, I was just talking to, um, I was just talking to, uh, <laughs> My child protects us, uh, my child, uh, uh, my, my parent teacher, because I have to take classes with my son now to, uh, to, um, to basically how to raise him and everything. Which is wicked as fuck. Which is wicked as fuck. You got to teach me how to raise my son. Um, she was telling me that, yeah, she was like, yeah, homosexuality, parents are starting to come up on a level now. I'm like, wait, 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 what? And I looked at her, she's like, yes, I agree with you. Homosexual parents, homosexual couples are starting to adopt uh, 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 the parents now that, um, they, they, they get their child taken away from a uh, from, uh, child protective service. They give it to homosexual uh, uh, parents now. Let me say something real quick. What type of, man, I was like, I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm like, is he, is my son? He's like, no, 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 no. He, he's with an, uh, he's with an, uh, uh, he's with the, he was with the uh, uh, husband and wife. And I, and I asked her, I was like, could you please? And she was like, no, 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 no. Because then she was like, she's, by the time then, you're probably going to get your son back by the time then. But I, I was listening to that like, what the fuck? Homosexual parents can adopt kids. And it's, a, and it's and it's a study on that. It's a study on that. A lot of these motherfucking um homosexual so-called parents raising kids and adopting them, they fucking uh pedophiles, man. It's, it's like in eighty percent of the cases, them them fucking kids is being molested and yes. raped. Why she, why she why she talking about uh the, uh they fucking coming up on the level, man? Being raised the kids. The Lord said Adam and Eve, man and woman. Right. That's not, said, that's, that's not natural affection. Not Adam and Steve. It even, it, right, not Adam and Steve. It didn't even say what? It says in the Corinthians, it says what? The woman wasn't made for the man, uh, the man wasn't made for the woman, but the, the woman, woman for the, the man. man. What's up? Uh, you, go ahead, man, the scripture. Romans, Romans, the first chapter. Get, exactly. a, get it all into that, man. Right, man. But you know what, man? Lord, man, the Lord put that vile affection on you, man, to, for you to for, for you to get hard on her, man, because the Lord wants to destroy you, right? It talks about that in Deuteronomy uh, uh, 28 and 63, all right? It says what? It says the Lord, the Lord rejoiced over you to do good and to multiply you, so the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you, all right? Yeah, and, he, and in Isaiah uh, 60, 64, he, the Lord chose your delusion. Yeah, man, the Lord chose your delusion, man. He gave you his open to that vile affection for you to get, get a stiff one off, uh, off of a man's buttocks or some shit like that. And that's right? why we, that's why they say buy back the time for yeah. the days are evil. Yeah, man. Oh, let me, and you buy back the time by getting into these scriptures. Yeah, and if you actually, matter of fact, if you look up the word modern, the modern actually, for a synonym, the modern actually means ladder. And if you look up in Malachi, what? It says we are in the latter days. All right? And it says what? The Lord should come in the latter days? Come on, man. You guys, man. You guys are just, just completely out of it. See, False doctrine. A lot, a lot of people don't care about stuff like that. You know, it just goes right over their head. Right. Like, that's, all right, they're going to watch my children. Exactly, exactly, man. But like, that's what it says right here. Wherefore, be ye not unwise. Uh-huh. Be ye not unwise, all right? But 
uh, understanding what the will of the Lord is. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like that. So when you know, the higher learnings of it. Okay, this gay marriage stuff, that's not the will of the Lord, man. And it's supposed to be a country that's founded on the Bible, man. No, the fuck out of here, man. Come back to that shit, man. Go ahead. Be, be, and be not drunk with wine. Being drunk with wine is talking about philosophy, right? And that's what we witnessed. If, well, if, yeah. if y'all can hear it in the, the background yeah, noise, they guy, drunk off philosophy. Yeah, man. Our people know everything in the world but the scriptures. Yes, they exactly. don't know why it's to do evil. Right. They know everything else. They know how to, where to get all this fake ass, bullshit ass hair from, the best drugs. They know how to turn up. Who, 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 who's, they, they know fucking information about fucking famous people. Yes, they know. They don't even know the scriptures. Oh. They know, they know, they know who the fuck bad, all bad Brad Pitt's ex fucking wives. Yeah. They know, uh, motherfucking who from the, uh, who had a hundred million dollar wedding. Exactly. Who kid doing this? Who coming out with new clothes? Motherfucker don't know shit about the scriptures. That's right. And the shit they do know about the scriptures, guess what? A white man taught them, man. And it's false. And it's false. That's right. And Eve ate an apple, man. Hey, man, you show me where Adam and Eve ate an apple, man. Yep. Show me the word apple right there, man. Yep. Let me God. see the word apple. You know, if you show me the word in King James Version where it said they ate an apple, man, guess what? I'm going to completely agree with you. They just show me where we're supposed to go to church on Sunday. We could keep it simple. Show me where uh, Yahweh shot, which y'all didn't call Jesus, was uh, white. Exactly. Show me all of that. Show me where it said we're supposed to be fucking having crosses and shit. Yeah, for you Native, for you Native American Indians, man, show me where it says you can worship an owl, man, and, 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 that's, uh, and that's holy. All right? Worship an, uh, 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 an owl and a uh, uh, fucking bird, an eagle. No, not an eagle. What's that? Uh, 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 a turkey. That's what I want to say. Yeah, all they, all they, all they doing is learning about a whole bunch of vain stuff, man. Cause like, what, why the hell would you want to know about, you know, some, some rich man's ex-wives and all that? Yeah, man, you want all that you, stuff is man. garbage, man. All up in another man's affairs. You and always, stuff. Man, you always want to learn about all these famous people. You always on the famous, like, uh, did you know this and this? Do you know uh, such such is gonna be in this movie? Okay. And such such. Hey, man, get off that dick, man. And hey, that's what Shit. the Lord says. The flesh. Profit of nothing. Man. Worry about that your own soul. That stuff ain't nothing for, for you to be worried about. I got to supposed to worry about the scripture. Man. Hey, that's what's America all about, man. You being in other people's life and not worrying about your own. Like, that's why we got to get up out of here, man. You got a whole bunch of meddling in other men's affairs and meddling in other people's affairs and shit, man. Worry about your own self, man. Get yourself right. Seek out. Man, and they teach you that shit in school, too, man. Because I remember I was in school and uh, 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 you, uh, uh, you, uh, uh, what I'm trying to say. You do something wrong, it'll be you and a group of other dudes. You do something wrong, you always had a friend like, well, I wasn't the only one. Just such such did it with me too. Yeah. You always got the gun to try to drag you down. I always worried about you, man. Mm -hmm. Scripture oh. say seek out thy own salvation. Yeah, man. You got a scripture, yeah. bro. I'm gonna finish this. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Be, be not something? drunk with wine, where is excess? But be filled with the spirit. Yeah, be filled with the spirit, man. How you gonna get the spirit, man? By reading the scriptures. Right? Be filled with the scriptures. Man. Yes. First, fearing it, and then understanding it. All right. By, by you fearing it, understanding is gonna come. All right. And by you reading it and understanding. All right. If you can read the book of Revelations one to three, he that blessed he who readeth to understandeth. Go ahead. Okay. How do you how do you be filled with the spirit? This is how right now. Because this is this is what the spirit is. Uh -huh. John 6, 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth. It is the spirit that come alive, all right, that brings things to, uh, to, to life. Because right without that, you dry bones, like stated yeah. in Ezekiel. Exactly. Man, you had it uh, you had back in uh, uh back in uh when uh, Peter and Paul, man, when they would say something, it would come to pass right then and there. I remember who it was, I think it was Paul who uh who uh, cursed uh, Bar Jesus and he became blind. He said it right then and he's like, you you uh, I can't remember exactly what he said, and he became blind right then and there. Go ahead. The flesh profiteth nothing. Flesh profiteth nothing, man. Just about. And the, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. Uh huh. And, and the they words are the Lord life. was speaking, and the words that he was speaking, he was quoting the scriptures. All the time the Lord was, he said, I did not come to uh, change the law or break the law, but to fulfill the law. He brought the scriptures to life. He was bringing the scriptures to life before they eyes. I got a scripture. Uh, get your scripture. Uh, book of Isaiah chapter 30 verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children. Woe that's us. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, that's us all together, man. Woe to the rebellious. Matter of fact, actually, that's really talking about the two-thirds, all right? 
Because the one-third is going to like wake up regardless and go mm -hmm. repent and be a virgin when y'all shot come back, all right? And, and that word woe, that means destruction. Yeah, yeah. death, what? destruction, de devastation. And, what do, and, what, and, and why is it woe to the rebellious children? Because the Lord told us what to do and what not to do. Yep. How did we rebel against that? Ain't today fucking so-called Easter? Everybody fucking, are you, and all this shit closed. You can't even go and get nothing to fucking eat. Because everybody in, in motherfucking church dressed up in their motherfucking Sunday's best and shit. Yeah, that's some right. Shit that, I, that the Lord did, did not give us to do. And going after uh, false gods. Man. And how is that a false god? Because Easter is supposed to be so-called, exactly, so-called right. symbolically the Passover. But the Passover was what? Last week. Last week, yep. The Lord didn't give you Sunday to determine when it's going to be your laws. He gave you the moon and, uh, and the seasons to determine when it's going to be your holidays yep. and what to celebrate. Exactly. Yeah, you, could, you could just... And then also, uh, it's talking about rebellion. Even, even you can't even say you don't know because if you've seen us doing what we're doing, look at us from a car, walking by, man. Hey, man, you was warned, all right? You knew you knew what we was doing here, huh? You just wanted to get here and roll past it. All right? Go ahead. We right here, bro. You can you can just uh, you can just feel the evil, the evil presence of the people. Man. Just just walking like around. Like I talked about, man. That dude was uh, yeah. earlier to get some food. He bugged out. He's walking. He's walking in the store so earlier to get some gluten-free foods. <laughs> and then you he just bugged. feel the, the, the wicked out. Easter spirit that these people had on him. I mean, just, just, just hearing a person say Happy Easter makes me vex right there, man. Fine. And to know, yeah. man, especially when you got a job and you got to say that shit back, man. I can't stand, I can't stand you people, man. Then you become the villain when you don't right. want to say when it you back. Don't, oh, you got a fucking guy that's dressing up like Santa Claus, man. I was like, man, my, my kid's not getting on your goddamn lap, man. Man. You a bad parent because you don't want right. to buy Christmas gifts for your kids exactly. and your child. You, ne you neglecting your, your child of, of, of what he wants, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of the, 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 what they call it, the, uh, the holiday spirit. It's the holiday demon. Yeah, they, yeah they, they, the demon spirit. That's you right. They, they, yeah. turn, they turn good to evil right. and evil to good. You right. good for not wanting to celebrate that bullshit, but you evil in their eyes, and they good in their eyes. They righteous in their own eyes, man. I, anybody got some? Yeah, you tell yeah, them right, you, you, you tell them it's evil, and then they say, yeah, I know, but it's, it's, for, the it's for the kids. It's for the kids. They, they say right. they know it's evil, but they're going to let their kids do it anyways. You know, and they really use that for Halloween. You know, yeah. motherfuckers say, I know, I know we're not supposed to be doing it, but I do it for the kids. All right, man, fuck them kids, man. They do it for Easter, too. My kids, I'm like, if he wants to say, yeah, can we go Christmas tree? Hell the fuck no. Nah. Fuck no. <laughs> if you're going out there, hey. You better, you better, why you going to them thousand people's house? You better, hey, but by the way, can you take me in? Because my father's not going to let me come back in his house. All right? They kids, me and my house are going to serve the Lord. They, uh, they kids done, done, done took the spot of the Lord. Yeah. You know what it say, man? Uh, oh, uh, uh, children are that pressure. Yep. The women rule over them, man. Yep. All right, go ahead. Grow to the rebellious children. And you know what? Keep going. They say what? Say up the Lord. Say up the Lord. Blow into the rebellious children. You know why? Because the Lord's not going to come back until all into this children preach uh, uh, all to the world. All right? So there ain't going to be no, oh, I didn't know. It's going to be the one, it's going to be the elect, the one third, and it's going to be 144,000 because as soon as they heard the word, as soon as they heard the, these scriptures talk, they woke up right then and then and uh, switched their whole life uh, around and start following the statutes, laws, and commandments. All right? That's why I say it's going to the rebellious children, all right? Because the other, because if you heard this word and then take heed to it and kept doing about your life, that's rebellion. All right, because we tell you to get right and you don't want to get right. Hey, there's nothing we can do for you, man. That's rebellion. He just said, whoa, so you're going to be destroyed, right? And that's why the Lord said he was going to reject them, man. Because, exactly. because they rejected him, mm -hmm. you know? That's why he said, whoa, destruction into your ass. That's what whoa means. Mm -hmm. It means destruction. It's fire and brimstone, you know? Yep. Yeah. The Lord said it would be just like the days of Noah. We out here doing that right now. You know what I'm saying? Telling you that there's fire and brimstone coming in order for you to um to um get 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 salvation.